Hi everyone, my name is Julia. I am an occupational therapy major, class of 2021, and today I'm going to walk you through my digital portfolio. So this is my homepage. I have a nice giant picture of myself, my name very large, and then my program. And then down at the bottom I have contact information. Um, I like to keep in mind in creating my portfolio my target audience, which beyond an academic setting would most likely be a future employer. And I want to make myself as accessible as possible. So on um, a couple of different pages, I have a link to my uh, my resume on Google Docs, as well as just my email address. Here's my About Me page. Um, has a photo of myself and a very brief and to the point blurb about kind of who I am and um, it's more like a, an introduction to my digital portfolio. Very brief overview of what I'm about and what's important to me that leads you into my education plan. So here's my education plan. And on this page, I talk about what I do on campus. I talk about my different roles and responsibilities, and I kind of list them all up here, um, as well as my personal goals. I use this as a tool to set goals for myself in a way that's very public and um, in hopes to hold myself to them, as well as to be able to showcase that I, I am capable of setting goals for myself. Um, and down underneath is where I actually dig into all of the things that I listed above. So for me, I have peer mentoring, and I included a nice big picture down here. Also on my portfolio, I make an effort to caption all of my images with um, not only a description of what's going on, but kind of why it matters. So a lot of these, um, you'll see a sentence or two about why that image is on my portfolio. I talk about my work study experience and my work with digital portfolio. I talk about Torch, which is a program I was a part of my first couple years on campus. And I talk a little bit about art, which is um, something that I not only do as a hobby, but have pursued in coursework beyond my major. Here we have my career plan, which is where I first start to really dig into what my major is. So I do an introduction to um, occupational therapy and the program that I'm in, and then why I chose occupational therapy, um, as well as a definition of what OT is, because not everyone that I think looks at my digital portfolio really knows what OT is. And even those that do, um, I wanted to showcase what my definition of occupational therapy is, and so I utilized a YouTube video to do that. This is a subpage of my career plan page, and it's something that we were required to do at the very beginning of the professional segment of our program, and it talks a little bit about what my expectations are for myself in becoming an occupational therapist. So dives a little bit deeper for those who would like to see that in my portfolio. This is my signature work page. So here I only have a couple items, but I plan to use it as a way to showcase some of my favorite projects that I've done for different classes. So here I have the title of a project and what class it was for as well as an embedded um, PowerPoint that goes through the entire project. And I've included, I might, I think that I might eventually try to narrow this down because it's quite a lot of text, but um, these were the learning objectives of the project, which I think are important to include. So it's not just a mystery PowerPoint lost on my portfolio, but something that makes sense. Also under signature work, I've included a subpage with my fieldwork experience. Eventually, I hope to include a demonstration of every fieldwork placement, but so far I've only had one. So I've included my final project, which was a um, video showcasing a case study, um, completely anonymous, of course. Um, don't want to violate HIPAA or anything like that, but this is a case study presentation that I did reflecting on my first fieldwork experience, and I want this page to be 
a way to showcase what my fieldwork experiences were like, as well as document the changes and growth that happen um, as I go on to um, more level one and eventually level two field works. Lastly, we have this doing, being, and becoming page. This is another subpage based on an essay that I wrote for one of my classes. So um, part of the requirement for the project was to embed it in our digital portfolio. So I tried to make a visual on my site correspond to the paper that I wrote. And I decided to include the paper as well because I think that it would be nice to be able to showcase my academic writing skills on my portfolio. So um, here is an embedded Google Doc of the actual write-up for this assignment. It's 12 pages long, so somebody has the option to scroll through it or just to scroll right past it on this page. This just down here is a sub page of that actual project itself. So this was the research component of that same paper. Lastly, we have the global learning page, which is a page I created when I studied abroad in Ireland in the summer of 2019. Um, I took a two week course and it was so cool and so overwhelming with knowledge. We were going a bunch of different places and meeting different people every single day. And I wanted to make sure that I could retain all that information and apply it beyond just those two weeks. And so I used my digital portfolio as a way to have like a digital journal of what I was doing and what I was learning. Um, so I have kind of an overarching message of what I learned here up at the top and then a little map visual. And then I dive into a couple specific items that I wanted to talk about that I thought were the biggest takeaways from my learning abroad. And then at the bottom of this page, I have a meaningful moments tab. So this is a sub page of that global learning page and it's called meaningful moments. And this was some, um, rather than big themes, this is more highlighting individual people and experiences that I had while abroad. I've got a little image carousel up here of some of my favorite photos that I took. Um, and down here we have highlighting specific things. So I have a video clip of a presentation that we attended and blurbs of kind of about what each of these meant. And I feel like this page specifically is one of the better gifts that I've been able to give myself, not only to be able to apply to future academics, but just to remember this experience in as much detail as I felt while experiencing it. It's only been a little over a year, and I feel like without this page, a lot of this would have been lost to time. And having this virtual journal, in a sense, has been truly incredible to be able to go back and look back on my experiences. And I'm very glad that um, I had this as a, as a tool at my disposal. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed a tour of my digital portfolio.